Yo, what's going on guys? This is Easy Tech 231 here. Today's video is all about Android Lollipop and how to get the look and feel of material design on your current Android device. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and start out with the launcher. I'm using the updated Google Now Launcher, which is not yet on the Google Play Store, uh, but I will put the link in the description for every app that I mentioned in this video in the uh, description down below so you can go ahead and download and install them yourself. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and install this one and you will get the updated Google Play, or I'm sorry, Google Now Launcher, not the Google Play Launcher. And um, yeah, this is what it is. You have the updated um, app drawer here with the material design look. Um, now, if you are not rooted, you will probably run into force closing errors. And if that ever happens, then go into the Google Now settings, go to voice, and then turn off the OK Google detection. Now, if you if you really use that a lot, then you may not want to actually use this launcher. Um, but if you really don't care about it that much, I mean, you can always hit the uh, you can always hit the search button right here. All right, so this is my current setup. I'm actually using Nova Launcher right now to make my Android device look and feel like it's running Android Lollipop. And um, as you can see, it's somewhat similar to some of those screenshots that we've seen of the Nexus Six. And uh, you know how they have the folder set up and whatnot. And um, the latest version of Nova Launcher actually um, gives you the animations for the folders, the material design, and animations. There actually looks really, really nice. I do like that. And um, here's the app drawer here. Uh, I forgot I kind of turned it into this little colors. It's kind of cool actually. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, this is my setup for Nova Launcher. So let's go ahead and get into some other applications. All right, so after you've downloaded your launcher, whether it's the Google Play launcher or Nova launcher, you're gonna to want to get some wallpaper applications. So what I'm using right now is the um, are the material wallpapers applications that you can find on the Google Play Store. Um, there's app number one and app number two, and in app number one you have mainly the official um, and some inspired um, material design wallpapers here. Um, so if you want one of the more popular ones is this one here. So let's go ahead and set this one as the wallpaper. So there you go, there's that one. And then on the second application, um, there are more, more of the inspired third party, if you will, uh, wallpapers. And these are actually really, really cool as well. Um, and here's the one I had at the beginning of the video. So there's that. And uh, so if you really want some nice material design wallpapers and you don't want to hunt all over the internet for them, go ahead and download those two applications and you'll have quite a bit of uh, material design wallpapers. Alright, so now if you're using Nova Launcher, you're going to want to download Moonshine Icon Pack because unfortunately Google Now Launcher does not support Icon Pack. So once you download that, um, go ahead, if you don't know already, go into the Nova Launcher settings, go into Look and Feel, go to Icon Theme, and enable the Moonshine Icon Pack. And it was just recently up updated with a whole bunch of, well, actually a small amount of Android L icons. Um, let's go ahead and let's see here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. As you can see, we have a lot of um, Android L inspired icons here. Some of the recent ones are the Messenger ones, different colors of the Messenger ones, as well as Hangouts. Um, so that is pretty cool. I really, really love this application. Go ahead and go download it. It's probably my favorite icon pack right now. And it also does come with its own wallpapers, which is nice, and it is free. So that's pretty much perfect. Next, we have our lock screen, and this is Lollipop lock screen. Uh, again, it is free, and um, we do have um, some notifications. I don't have any right now. I cleared them all, but it will appear just like it does on um, regular, actual, official <laughs> Lollipop. And you can swipe towards the right to get to, straight to your dialers. You can see the icon kind of grows there. Um, and then you can go the other direction to get straight to your camera. And then you can swipe down to get to your music controls, which is really nice. And then you can swipe up from here just to unlock the phone. And it does give that little slide down um, animation there, which is really cool. Um, it, it is a little buggy, but you know the bugs that it has, they're not deal breakers. I would definitely actually recommend this for an actual lock screen. It does work that well. So um, yeah, this is Lollipop lock screen. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the official messenger application that you will find on Lollipop. Um, this is it right here. And um, I, again, I will put the link in the description so you can find this, find the APK. 
And um, I'm not really going to add any messages because I don't want you to see people's contacts or anything like that, any phone numbers. Um, but what is really cool about this is when you do add, you know, multiple threads and you're talking to multiple people, the colors will change for the um, contact message messages from them, which is pretty cool. And it's just a nice overall, nice, clean um, application. So I, I actually have been using this for about a week and um, it's treating me well. So. This is the Messenger application from Android Lollipop. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the keyboard. We're using the official Lollipop keyboard. This is not a third-party application from the Google Play Store. Again, I'll put the link in the description down below so you can find this. And uh, it works really well, actually. Um, when you first install it, it'll, it'll be Google Keyboard. So if you have Google Keyboard on your phone, go ahead and remove that. Um, don't worry, you can always install it again. Um, but go ahead and remove it because this will replace it. This is Google Keyboard. And when you install it, it'll probably have the actual, um, the regular Google Keyboard theme on it. But let's go ahead and go to um, the actual settings, language and keyboard, or language and input rather, Lollipop Keyboard, and then go to Appearance and Layouts, go to Theme, and select either Material Dark or Material Light. And I'm on Material Light. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to Material Dark. Let's see here. All right, so there you go. You got your Lollipop keyboard. It looks really nice, actually, nice and clean, minimal. And then you also have the swipe as well. So that's pretty cool. So that is the official Lollipop keyboard. All right, last but not least, we're taking a look at the dialer here. This is not an official APK or anything like that. This is actually X Dialer with the Lollipop theme. You can find it on Google Play Store for free, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, again, I'm not going to type in any numbers or anything. I don't want to put anybody on blast, you know, showing their phone numbers or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this is the dialer here that we're using. It works really well, looks a lot like Lollipop. So um, that's pretty much it for theming your Android device to make it look like it's running Android L. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.